bit in the pits getting that car fixed. And boy, is he going to suffer a point loss here this afternoon. Oh, oh boy, look at this. Traffic jam. A big, big traffic jam. Ken Schrader spins. Many other cars are going to be involved. But nobody, seriously, I think everybody's going to be able to keep going. But the boy, one they... car of Rick Mast right in the middle of the screen has more damage than anyone out of this. There goes Rick down straight away. Some heavy damage to the front of his automobile. Dale Earnhardt was on the low group of the racetrack and not going nearly as fast as the other members of the field because of the damage that has been sustained to that car. And when the leaders came up on him, we had a problem. And let's look at it once again. That's what it was. You see the 66 car of Lake Speed out in front of then Earnhardt. And they're not running nearly as fast as the leaders. And everybody runs in their jams. Are, well, now we're about to see it happen going into turn three. That's where they really jam up. Ricky Rudd gets by on the outside, but Rusty caught down there and bumps Earnhardt and then also bumps Davey Allison, and then everybody starts bumping behind them. And I see where Rick Mast received all of his damage. He ran in the back of Schrader. He's the fellow who caused Schrader to spin, and, uh, and there we see Mast in the pits. And let's go to John Kernan, who's right there. Bob, you can see the right front side where they've got one of those cutting tools out there, a pneumatic cutting tool. They're cutting away, trying to get that right front fender off there, get it up off the tire at least. Rick sitting in the car, also some damage to the rear end. The crew will pull out the sheet metal to keep it from getting on the tires. Now, to beat the pace car out, he's going to have to go, so Rick will move along, which is a really shame. He was running really well. He worked up into the top five at one point. He told me this morning that he really loves to run here at Bristol. Guys, he said he didn't know why. He just really loved it. But I'm not so sure how much he's going to love it after today. <laughs> We have several cars making pit stops, including Dale Earnhardt, who is getting that car checked over once again. Here's another replay. Now, let me show you what happened. Earnhardt is up in the middle of the racetrack. Rusty Wallace decides to go inside. Earnhardt moves over to let the fast cars go by. And Rusty has already made that decision to go on the inside. Well, he gets jammed in behind Earnhardt. Earnhardt was trying his best to get out of the way, but Rusty had already decided to go the inside of it. And Dale was impeded by Lake Speed, who was just gaining speed after coming out of the pit area. So that's how that incident occurred. Nobody seriously damaged, although Rick Mast remains on pit road, and the number 11 car showing a lot of damage here. 56 laps completed out of 500 in the Valleydale Meets 500. 